fire. Oh, right. yes. oh, rock and roll. Cool. All right, what can you say about Twain? Uh, awesome. <laughs> Plane oh. is awesome. No, Plane is not awesome. Hey, ouch. <laughs> I think Plane's great. Um, How are they doing now that Kurt's going to be in New York? Ah, uh, that's the question. Um, it's it's tough for anybody when you're in a relationship with somebody uh, that is surrounded upon being in the same place. So whenever, if that means you're in the same job, same school, whatever, once that changes, it gets very difficult because the foundation on which your relationship is built is now shifted. So, um... It's tough, for, it's tough for both parties, it's tough for Blaine. Um, on a more sort of positive note, Kurt's absence makes Blaine a little more ambitious with his time and what he wants to do at McKinley because Kurt is now gone and he needs to fill his time with something. So um, he does some interesting things where he starts running for a student body president, um, joins a bunch of clubs, just goes a little power hungry. But Blaine's much more maniacal than he was the last couple of seasons. He used to be this charismatic, nice guy, but now he's kind of gone off the deep end because Kurt's gone. So for better or for worse, Blaine's gone a little crazy. Can you talk about um, a little bit more of the sassy Blaine that we saw in the first episode? Did you know that was yet. coming? No, I read the first episode and I was like, what's going on? Everyone, like, Tina's really mean now, Blaine's really sassy. All these things are happening and I'm like, what happened to this, like, nice guy that we met for the second season? Um, but in high school, people change, man. I don't know. And, uh, Come senior year, he's a different person. So I don't know where it's going, but he is just, he's going, he's going a little nuts. Are we going to see Bra uh, Blaine with some bromances? Yeah, well, there has been some bromances. He's, he's been kind of buddy-buddy with Finn last season, so I think that'll continue. Um, uh, him and Sam partner up for something by the third episode that's pretty cool. That's a major bromance. Um, yeah. Can you tell us about any hazing or pranks that went on this season? Uh, no. If anything, it's the opposite, because... There is no one to haze. Well, there's the new kids, yeah. um, which we haven't known long enough to haze. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might happen eventually. It's actually just a bunch of, like, missing people. It's like seances of crying, of like, oh, we wish so-and-so was here. We miss a lot of our friends because it's, uh, it's not the same set anymore. It's a little different. But change is good. You know, you move on, and, uh, uh, you know, we look forward to when they do come back.